On the evening of Tuesday, January the 11th, 1949, a one-hour program launched Pittsburgh's first television station, WDTV, part of the Dumont Television Network. That station eventually became known as KDKA, and today marks our 70th anniversary on the air. And over the next three hours, you will continue hearing from our current anchors and reporters about their memories of KDKA. And we'll also take a look back at the major news events and the newscasters who have brought them to you. But right now, we take a look back at some of the memorable programming that, is, that has helped solidify KDKA's place in television history. Welcome once again, folks. Slim Bryant and his Wildcats was just one of the many flagship shows during the early days of WDTV. There was also the Buzz and Bill Show, Kay's Kitchen, the Florence Sando Mansion Show, the Gene Conley Show, and the Wilkins Amateur Hour and the Easy Credit Ranch Girls. In March 1952, just three years into existence, WDTV became the first television station in the country to broadcast 24 hours a day. Two years later, Dumont sold the station to Westinghouse, which moved the station to the brand new Gateway Center and changed the call letters from WDTV to KDKA, aligning the television station with America's first radio station and cementing its commitment to local programming. I don't I know you? KDKA has long been committed to helping and educating children with early programs like Josie Carey's Storyland and Funsville, Mitzi's Kitty Castle with Mitzi Steiner and Hank Stoll, and in later years, The Trolley Show and Let's Read a Story. Semi-final playoff action here on Hometown High Q. In the late 90s, KDKA launched a high school quiz show, first with quizmaster Ken Rice and now Rick Dayton. All he needs now is a family to support and love him. Damien is a waiting child. And over the years, our waiting child feature has helped so many children in foster care find a forever home. The late 50s and early 60s brought rock and roll into American homes on the radio. And Clark Race's weekly dance party did the same on KDKA TV. And for fans of more standard musical fare, there was the wonderful world of Johnny Costa. The 60s brought several talk shows to the airwaves, shows like the John Reed King Show and the Marie Torrey Show, hosted by one of America's pioneering female journalists. The criteria really uh, has to do with uh, looks more than ability. In 1968, KDKA launched the Yvonne Forston Show, making her the first black reporter to have her own TV show. A decade later, another pioneering show hit the airwaves. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to a very special edition of Vibrations. I am Lynn Hayes Freeland. Vibrations created a weekly forum for the local African American community. Eventually, the show was renamed the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show, and it continues to be a beacon within the community. Evening In the 1970s, Evening Magazine gave us a radical new concept, a magazine on television. The show took hosts Dave Durian and Donna Hanover, and then later John Burnett and Liz Miles, all over the country and around the world. It also helped launch the career of comedian Dennis Miller, getting him his own show on KDKA. <laughs> Evening Magazine ended its 13-year run. For the last time, have a great evening, everybody. With John Burnett and Mary Rob Jackson going out the same way Dave and Donna came in, in a hot air balloon. This is Your Pittsburgh. In 2012, a new type of magazine show, Your Pittsburgh, with hosts David Highfield and Kimberly Gill. Susan Copen now co-hosts with David, taking us all over the city to show us what makes Pittsburgh so special. In 1978, a talk show introduced Pittsburgh to Patrice King Brown. She hosted Pittsburgh Today, first with Ed Malley, and then later with Wayne Van Dyne, John Wade, and John Burnett. The show had a share of fun and silly moments, but it also covered serious topics, like this interview Patrice did with an admitted rapist. I think you know from looking in your eyes the, the pain and the anguish and the awful thing that this is that you, you've done. Do you like you? Pittsburgh Today in the Afternoons ended after 11 years, but the concept eventually returned in 2002 as a morning talk show called Pittsburgh Today Live. Jennifer Ann Koviak signed on as the first host, and then Christine Sorensen took the reins for more than a decade. And now Heather Abraham comes into your home every morning at 9. 
From the most trusted names in local news, KDPG Sunday Edition. For nearly 20 years, KDKA has had a strong partnership with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, including our weekly KDPG Sunday Edition. Welcome to the Sunday Business Page. KDKA also continues to provide unique business news on the Sunday Business Page. Bill Flanagan began that show in the 90s, and John Delano continues it today. I'm your ringmaster, Bob Pompiani. We have a lot to get into tonight. In the City of Champions, we have had an abundance of sports programming over the years, from the nightly sports call to the sports showdown to countless other shows dedicated to our sports teams and sporting events. At KDKA, informing the public is the core of what we do. But we know giving back to the community is just as important. And nothing symbolizes our long-standing commitment to that more than two of our longest-running traditions. Over 40,000 tables. We'll have a turkey tomorrow. We'll have a Thanksgiving tomorrow. The KD Turkey Fund dates back 37 years. The idea of Al Julius to make sure our neighbors in need have a warm Thanksgiving meal. Wayne Van Dyne and Yvonne Zanos later picked up Al's mantle. And now all of us here at KDK continue their mission. But perhaps KDKA's greatest community service project is the Children's Hospital Free Care Fund Benefit Show. For a remarkable 65 years, KDKA has hosted that show during the holidays with the goal of making sure no child is denied medical care. Bill Burns hosted the first show in 1954, and he used the 1988 broadcast to announce his retirement from KDKA after 35 years. So what more can I say? To thank all of you again, and good night, good luck, and good news tomorrow. Of course, those are just some of the programs that we've aired here on KDK over the past 70 years. Weekend Magazine, a show that I hosted for nearly a decade, also holds a, well, a special place in my heart, Most you can imagine. Certainly, certainly. Such a rich history here. We're so blessed to have. And our celebration of KDKA's 70th anniversary continues tonight at 5, where we'll take a look back at some of the most memorable news events over the past 70 years.